All right, so the Windows 11 event just went down and there's a bunch of stuff I wanna talk about. So I'm gonna focus on a few of the features that I think are kind of noteworthy, but then I wanna take this conversation to just like the bigger picture, the whole talk about Windows 11 and the whole launch. It's, there's some interesting things to discuss. Feature number one, the centered taskbar. This is probably the most visually recognizable element of Windows 11 so far, and it's a nice look. It's something that I've always tried to achieve in my previous versions of Windows, and it's just, Right out of the box, it's in the center. The start button's also there, so if you're used to just moving your mouse to the bottom left, because it's been like that forever, uh, you now have to get used to clicking it kind of in the middle, if you want to have it in the middle. You can obviously position the whole taskbar back to the left if that's your jam, but the center looks better. Number two is the start menu. So they've gotten rid of the live tiles and it's now a more modern kind of refreshed look to the start menu. The apps are just available in a grid and it's just a nicer looking start menu to me. The third feature is on the window itself. These now have rounded corners. It's a more modern look. We've seen it on a whole bunch of other operating systems and now we see it on Windows 11. I think it's a nice look, but it's obviously not for everyone. You also have the ability to adjust the snap layouts, which allow you to adjust the position and relative orientation of the different window panes. It's just a simple way to organize your workflow, which is pretty cool. Now, the next feature is near and dear to me because I'm a laptop user. I'm a sweaty laptop nerd and I reconnect and disconnect the external monitor to my laptop very frequently, like multiple times a day. And, and I can't believe this hasn't been thought of before or no one seems to have done this properly before, but when you disconnect an external monitor on Windows 10, the orientation of your panels are all jumbled up. And then when you reconnect that monitor back up, it doesn't go back to its original state. On Windows 11, when you reconnect that monitor, those panes and windows that you had in your particular positions, they'll go back to the way they were every time you reconnect a monitor. It's so simple, but it's just so good. And as a laptop user, I love seeing that. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is how Windows 11 is technically bringing Android apps onto the Windows 11 operating system. But it's not, you know, they're not getting app developers to write apps to run natively on Windows 11. What they're doing is, you go to the Microsoft Store and you download the Amazon app, and then through the Amazon App Store, you can download Android apps, like for their Kindle products and stuff, to run on the Windows 11 operating system. Now, I looked into this a little bit. It's not really clear how it's done. Like they say they use like Intel Bridge technology, but it's a runtime post compiler. So they're basically taking an app that's written for not x86, I'm assuming an ARM chip, and they're making it run on an x86 device, which is kind of cool. It's not for everyone, right? Not everyone needs. Android apps on their system, but for the people that have wanted that in the past, you now have access to it. But there is something that pops into my mind. It's like, because that software, that tech is from Intel, if you have an AMD based system, would that work? And also like way more valuable than that, like would they allow just, could we install APKs? Like just go grab an APK from the Chrome, like the, the Play Store and just, you know, just install it, like side load it onto the Windows device. That'd be so much better than running an app through an app of another app, that'd be weird. Okay, um, all right, let's talk about the good stuff. So if you've noticed, everything I've talked about so far about this Windows 11 launch has been aesthetics. It's just been a very, it almost feels like a, like a, like a rich skin for Windows 10, right? All of this stuff could technically be done with a fancy skin. And I'm sure there's a lot of stuff under the hood, right? There's like performance advancements. There's a lot of stuff that they don't really talk about on the stage about what's actually happening underneath that makes Windows 11 special. But the main headlining features have been these aesthetic tweaks, refreshes, which is cool. And because it's a free upgrade, I'm not gonna complain. But traditionally, when it came to a new Windows operating system, it was usually more substantial shift. Like you went from 98 to XP to 2000. Each jump was like this big shift and not just how it looks, but how you interact with the computer, right? It's just an operating system, but those were big changes every time you jumped up to the point where if you relied on your computer for work, you probably, you were hesitant. You're like, do I want to update this? Because it's, there's a chance it's going to bust things. This is weirdly stable. This is a really early build. This is like a May deployment and it's a not even meant for public consumption. It's like the leaked beta and it's surprisingly stable. I've played games on it. I've edited videos on it and it's so stable because I think it's just, it's not that much of a shift from Windows 10, which is a good thing, right? In the sense of stability, but for the people that wanted something crazy and something more substantial, it's not really there. Now, the question I had was why? Like, why did they even call it Windows 11 when it could technically have been it could have been passed off as a incremental update for Windows 10, right? It's not a huge shift. And I think it's because 
of like they're just trying to draw publicity to this new version of Windows. And I think it's a good time, right? If you think about Apple products, those M1 devices, the desktops, the, the laptops, they are popular right now. They're gaining traction. And it's like, okay, Apple's got some moves. We got a new move. Not that Windows has ever been a bad product, but it's just like, it's been stale. It's been sitting here for five, six years. It's just Windows 10. It's like reliably good, but you breathe something like this in, Windows 11, it's the new operating system. And I think it just breathes life to the whole Windows ecosystem in a nice manner. I think it looks nice. Yeah, there you go. That's kind of like the first look for Windows 11. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.